place mesh can be good for you know placing a mesh on polygons, but uh, sometimes you don't want to do that. For example, you want ten clones down here. That's more difficult. So we'll use the old-fashioned rail clone. Loop this one. Use the connect tool here, and uh, there, there. Select that point. This guy. Uh, I select that path. I made a shortcut. Uh, Control P to create a path. Um, now just cut that out. Now what we'll do is just undo all of this. So we're back here. I'll paste that path into a new layer so you can see that this is how it works. This is how it looks. And um, let's create something like, doesn't matter, we can create something like that. Place that in that position. Um, So what I'll do now is I'll actually just take this one and rail client with these settings. Uh, why didn't that work? That's stupid. I don't know why that didn't work. It should have worked. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. Let's try that over again. Uh, I have a feeling, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that I have to flip this one. Okay, so press F to flip it. Let's try that over again. Uh, that didn't work either. <laughs> Sometimes this is just amazing. I don't know why that is. It, okay, it says 10 polygons created where? It's, now it says five that I've selected five polygons, but nothing shows. Okay, there, there's some kind of bug here inside uh, when doing this. Um, okay, I'll press invert and it says 50 polygons created. Okay, maybe I had something, I don't know, maybe there's something around here, but I, okay, I'll hit delete. This is a uh, light wave 11.6, by the way. Hit delete. So I'll delete those 50 invisible uh, polygons. I don't know why that is. Uh, go to point mode, invert. Okay, no, nothing. Okay, I don't know why this is. Anyway. Let's try this over again. Paste that in. Switch these layers. No, uh, paste that in. And use rail clone. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, now it works. So I don't know. Seems to be some kind of bug in 11.6. Um, invisible polygons and points. First time I encountered that. Anyway, you'll see that this one is off. Why is that? It's off because the curve is off. In LifeWave, when you create a curve, it has kind of like this bend to it. And you probably don't want that. So let's fix it. Uh, so let's go here. Add a point. You can add a point on the curve uh, in the perspective view, but it's kind of like tricky at times. So we'll use the, the quad views. Okay, so we got a point here. So I'll just snap that one actually. Uh, hold on control, I'll snap that to this last point so it matches the Y. Now the, the important thing here is, um, is to make this not too close to this last point because uh, if you do that then uh, rail clone will bug on you so make it more like this so okay let's try this again and let's see 
and rel clone, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, I'm bugged again. Why is that? Uh, actually, that's the bug I was talking about. Uh, the point being too close. So, actually, I need to m move this even further down in order for this bug not to take effect. Oh. Uh. Let's try that over again. Well, at least you got to see the bug. Okay. There we go. Now it works. Okay. So, one thing to be aware of, really. Uh, so, that is making 10 clones. on this band. There are other ways uh, to make clones as well. Um, but the, this is the basic way. 